A massive migrant caravan headed for the United States is on the move again, defying a threat by U.S. President Donald Trump to close the border. Thousands of men, women and children, most of them fleeing poverty and violence in Honduras, poured into Mexico on Sunday. The country had earlier deployed riot police, some armed with tear gas, to head off any illegal crossings at the border with Guatemala. But over the weekend, the trickle of migrants allowed in through an official channel swelled to a throng, joined by thousands crossing a river on boats or swimming. The migrants face uncertainty and possible deportation in Mexico, a risk that one man said was worth it. The government of Honduras won't help anybody, even if you're disabled. Just look at all these people here who haven't been able to find work. Another man saying, tell Donald Trump we're coming to see him. The U.S. president on Sunday tweeted, quote, full efforts are being made to stop the onslaught of illegal aliens. Trump says the migrants must apply for asylum in Mexico first before trying to petition U.S. authorities. Mexico has vowed to process asylum requests, but the sheer size of the caravan has some questioning whether the government will be able to manage it. Migrants that Reuters spoke to said they had no idea how to get the documents they needed to pass safely through Mexico and seek asylum in the U.S. Some migrants have already given up. Authorities estimate around 2,500 have headed back home. Honduras' president saying the country was working to provide a safe and peaceful return.